News 13 has learned that there has been a significant drop in riders on New Mexico's Railrunner Express. The number of passengers is down 10 percent from a year ago. And Jim Winchester is live at the El Pueblo station tonight with what's going on. Diane, the people who operate Railrunner tell us that the drop in the number of passengers is all part of a national trend. There's been a slight decrease from last year. In July, August, September 2009, the Railrunner had almost 373,000 riders. During that same span this year, the number dipped to 331,000. That's over 40,000 fewer riders this year, a drop of over 11%. Last year was, we had enormously high numbers in the summer. Rail runner officials say a number of factors have contributed to this year's decrease in riders. The biggest, the fact that the weekend train to Santa Fe is no longer a novelty. They would try it out and go to Santa Fe, and we had really high numbers, especially on the weekends. And so I think some of the newness has probably worn off now, the novelty of being able to go to Santa Fe and, and use that leisure part of the train. Another factor, since last summer, the rail runner raised rates and decreased the number of weekend trains. It appears that the, the more significant loss is on the weekends, not our Monday through Friday commuter core service, which is what our system was initially built for. Which is why those at the rail runner aren't too worried. Commuters we spoke with said if the numbers are down, they aren't seeing it during the week. The commuters are up, I think. I don't know what makes the lag from last year, but I see a high morale. Now, this past quarter, the number of passengers nationwide was actually up a tenth of a percent, but that followed five quarters in which it was down, all because of unemployment, the recession, and funding deficits. Diane, back to you. Okay, Jim, the New Mexico Rail Runner is operating on a $24 million budget, half of it coming from local taxes. While ticket sales are down, the Rail, rail Runner tells us that the fare increases are making up for the loss in riders. A